In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install your valley for your flat tile concrete roof. Unlike shingles, there's only really one way to do a valley flashing and valleys on tile roofs. We're going to be installing a 24 inch wide valley flashing. These come in pre-finished colors of brown charcoal, which is like a dark gray, a white or galvanized. We recommend using one of those. Always make sure they're 24 inches wide. They have different custom colors and copper metal, but generally we're installing one of these to match the tiles as close as possible. There's a few steps that we have to do to ensure that this tile roof and this valley stays waterproof. I'm gonna show you how in this video. So we've already got the valley flashing installed. Now I wanna kind of peel layers back and show you what we've done to this point. Uh, you can see we're using a nail down underlayment right here and we're doing a double layer. I'm gonna just pull this back right here. The same thing with this. Uh, the manufacturer details don't call out for the underlayment going on top of the valley. They just say, go underneath the valley and install the valley metal on top of the underlayment, then install the tile on top. Now I prefer to do both. I prefer to have one layer of underlayment underneath the valley flashing. And you can see here what we've got on both sides coming out. And then I like to install the underlayment on top. One thing to keep in mind is we've got the drip hedge here. The drip hedge goes first. And then we've got our underlayment, our valley flashing. Then we've got our tile riser. Then that's when we're installing our underlayment. We want to install our underlayment about two to three inches away from the valley center line. And we can always cut this back later. We just don't want this to be exposed. It just really looks uglier than anything else because we've got, we're going to have the tiles on top of this. So you can either cut it now or later. Some people decide to leave it longer and then cut it after installing the valleys. I think in these areas, Unlike rakes, it's easier to cut the underlayment about two to three inches back. More doesn't hurt because again, remember, manufacturer code does not require this underlayment on top of the valley. This is just an extra measure that I like to take and I think is a cheap way to really waterproof the valley. Um, essentially, any water that comes on top of the underlayment, I would prefer it to go on top of the valley rather than under the valley. Even though under the valley we might have underlayment, I still always prefer to have the water on top of the valley and have it go all the way down the roof. So that's pretty much the base layer of it. That's, that's what we've done so far. The only thing that's left to do once you get the valley flashing installed is installing the tiles on top of the roof. So uh, we're gonna start doing that right now. We've got our tile pre-cut. If you wanna know how to cut tiles, you can watch our other videos where I explain how to properly cut flat tiles. The nails that we use to install this valley are round cap plastic nails. Generally, we would use just electro dip galvanized nails. However, just for this demonstration, we're using round capped nails. Generally, we would install the valley flashings with the same nails that we install our drip hedge, which are electro dip galvanized nails, just regular roofing nails with quarter inch heads. Now when installing the tiles next to the valley, it's always best not to make a hole in the valley because you want to make sure that this valley acts as a pan to allow the water to go down. Now you can make a hole if needed on the outer edge of the valley flashing, but if you're forced to make a hole in the middle and like this, what we like to do is one of two things. Use a wire, and this is a galvanized tie wire that we thread through the tile So essentially we've got this. So this tie wire is holding this tile up. Now we can put this tile in place and we're gonna use this tie wire to ensure that this tile does not slip down. So we're just gonna place a nail, again, making sure we're not making a hole in the valley. We're just gonna twist it around that tile right there and hammer it down that way this tile is nice and tight. The other option is to put a little bit of caulking or adhesive, or you can do both. Generally, I prefer 
the wire method as it's more secure and caulking is going to eventually fail throughout the years. Adhesive is never as reliable as mechanically fastening it. However, doing both definitely doesn't hurt. So that's really the only detail while installing tiles up to your valley. Now the same thing is going to apply for this piece right here. What I would generally do is tie a wire, bring it back over the ridge, and nail it down. So there you have it. We're essentially done with our valley. Now we'll of course still do this side. So always make sure that you have a full roll of underlayment underneath your valley and assume that you're not going to have underlayment coming on top. Install your valley flashing while installing nails on the outer edge. One thing I like to do, again you don't need to do it, but I think it's an easy solution that really is going to help and definitely not going to hurt is installing underlayment on top of your valley flashing ensuring that any water that comes on top of your underlayment rolls on top of your valley and off your roof um, then you want to do that after installing the drip hedge then while installing the tiles the last thing you want to remember is don't make holes in the center of your valley if needed use that tie wire method that i showed you here to secure tiles without penetrating the valley Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. We have a bunch of other videos for tile, flat tile roof installation tutorials. If we're missing something, let us know and we'd like to fill it out for you. Thanks for watching.